Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to this uh, informal group interview with His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of the Foundation for Universal Responsibility. Uh, about six months ago, uh, we had set up uh, for His Holiness to be in Delhi uh, for 10 days of teachings and meditation workshop. In fact, at this very venue, uh, we have been overwhelmed with requests uh, from the press uh, to meet with His Holiness and uh, he has graciously agreed to squeeze in sometime this morning. He travels back to Dharamsala uh, later today. So I, sh I shan't intrude uh, between His Holiness and, and uh, all of you distinguished members of the media. Uh, we're open to uh, you know, any questions on pretty much any subject, uh, but we have 45 minutes, and in order to ensure that a wide range of subjects are, uh, are covered, uh, may I request, uh, you know, whoever asks the question to keep it brief and we will then move on to say two or three follow-up questions from somebody else on the same theme and then move uh, to another subject so that a wide range of uh, issues can be covered. Uh, first, uh, uh, yes, the microphone to you please. Do you think there should be more international pressure on China now from uh, do you think there should be more international pressure on China now from countries like uh, US and India on the Tibet issue? And when uh, had uh, uh, Speaker Pelosi given any assurance to you with regard to achievement in this? Do you think there should be any more international pressure on China? Uh, 
as soon as the, this crisis happened, uh, that I think already you know. And then yesterday, uh, I appeared mainly uh, Chinese brothers and sisters all over the world, and particularly uh, Chinese brothers and sisters in mainland China. Because, unfortunately, is some Chinese let's say the propaganda. You see, they try to create the impression we are anti-Chinese. No, certainly not. Yeah. So, uh, in order to make clear to our Chinese brothers and sisters, I made special meeting. And then also, they, I always see, telling people the real solution to the problem must find between Han Chinese and Tibet. No one else. Of course, our friends, uh, including Europeans, Americans, uh, Japanese, or others, they say, can help to reach a mutually equal solution, but a real solution between Chinese and Tibet. So therefore, Chinese community is very, very important. Already there are lots of us today, uh, I think, genuine sense of concern and a sense of solidarity already is showing uh, from Chinese community. Uh, some individual seems to see uh, uh, very. Uh, I saw you see some. I say internet uh, internet sort of report. I saw you see some Chinese individual seems to see very very negative. This really show that they are anger. Uh, these I feel uh, are not healthy. They do not know the reality. Therefore, I made this special appeal. And also I express, you see, the, uh, my concern not only human rights violation in Tibet, but also in China proper, including Tiananmen sort of day, uh, human rights violation. I, I mentioned these things. And also the farmers, uh, I think thousands of farmers in mainland China, uh, you see, or some possibly appeal or some demonstrations to see take place. When that is happen, then usually it's a suppression. So uh, I expressed these things. So now you open your question.